Hi, welcome again to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. Today's lesson is about the paragraph. It's a writing lesson, and I want to show people what a paragraph is and how to construct one, what to do, what not to do, so you can write very clear, very tight paragraphs. This is especially important for IELTS, TOEFL, SAT students, but everybody has to follow the exact same rules. Now, before I even begin, I must say that I'm talking mostly about academic writing or even business writing. Creative writing, like novels or short stories, anything fiction, you can do anything you want. Only always remember, somebody has to read what you wrote. So it has to be clear. But academic essays, for example, certain rules you have to follow, you have to be very careful about them. So let's begin. In terms of like the actual way a paragraph looks, you have to indent or skip a line. So let me just make sure you understand what an indent is. This is an indent, the first line a little bit pushed in. Or you can make sure you skip a line between paragraphs, but don't do both. If you skip a line, don't indent, okay? That's the main thing. Now, that's in terms of the way it looks. In terms of content, and this is, I can't stress this enough, very, very, very important, one central idea in one paragraph, okay? I've seen many people, I've seen many essays where you start a paragraph talking about one thing and then you go off on a tangent and talk about something completely unrelated. So, for example, if you start a paragraph and you're talking about apples, continue to talk about apples. If you go to oranges, that's maybe okay because you're still talking about fruit. But if you start with apples, go to oranges, go to bananas, and then end up with monkeys in space, there's a bit of a problem. The reader has no idea what you're talking about. One paragraph, one central idea. Now, make sure that you tell the reader what this central idea is. This is your thesis statement, okay? It's a very general sentence. All it does is introduce the topic of the paragraph, nothing else. All the details come after. So, speaking of details, we'll talk about details in detail, but all other ideas, all the other sentences, all your sentences with the details, must directly relate back to the main idea. So let's say here is your thesis statement, very general. Every sentence after must relate back to that thesis statement, okay? You can't go off to another idea. Everything must support this, must talk about the same topic. Very important, okay? How long should your paragraph be? Technically, a paragraph could be one sentence, but in an academic essay, that rarely happens but it could be any length you want. As long as you're still on that one topic, as long as you still have things to write and things to say about that topic, say it. If you have four sentences, fine. If you have 10 sentences, also okay. Again, for IELTS, TOEFL, SAT students, four or five sentences should be your limit. You can't be too long because you don't have time and you're gonna start making mistakes. So, now, the details. Very important to have lots of details. Why is this topic important to your overall idea of your essay? Not only tell me what is the topic, what is the thesis statement of the paragraph, make sure you explain to me why this is important to the general idea of the essay. Give me reasons. Now, why is it important? And then reasons, why you think what you're saying supports this idea. Examples, always use examples because Give me the reasons is okay. Examples make me see exactly what you're trying to say. Very easy for me to understand what you're trying to say. Now, in terms of flow, in terms of the way the reader can approach the paragraph, you have to have bridges. What, is, what do bridges mean? Basically, when you have one idea in this sentence, you must connect it to the next sentence. You must connect it to the next sentence. Every sentence must have a link to the next sentence. This creates flow, makes it much easier to read and understand, and it keeps you on the one topic. Now, key terms. 
if you're talking about something specific and you have to use a key term, use it as many times as you need to. Otherwise, avoid repetition. Try not to use the same word more than once in one paragraph, okay? For example, if you're using the word moreover in the paragraph, don't use, in a, uh, don't use moreover again. Use in addition to, use furthermore, another, etc. Try to avoid using one word more than once, especially in the same paragraph. But sometimes you'll get words, like for example, you're writing an essay about parents. Not many words you can replace for parents. So if you have to say parents, 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 so be it, do that. Once in a while, mom and dad, mother and father, but you don't want to have like mother and father, three words, parents, one word. Shorter is better. So keep that in mind. At the end of your paragraph, when you're coming to the end, if this is part of your body, means there's another paragraph coming, leave me some sort of bridge to the next paragraph. Or if you can't do that, then just conclude the paragraph. Make sure it's a very clear statement that this idea is finished. I'm done talking about this idea. And then start your next paragraph with some bridge to the previous one. So one paragraph connects to the next paragraph. Same idea with flow. Sentence connects to sentence. Paragraph connects to paragraph. Okay? Now, of course, the easiest way to understand all this is to look at a, an actual paragraph and see all these points in it. Okay? So let's do that. Okay. Don't be scared. This is a paragraph. Okay? First, before we do anything, let me read it to you. So in case you can't see it clearly. Great changes require a powerful hand to guide them and push them forward. Governments have the power and influence of the law to support them. Moreover, they have access to means with which to enforce the law and punish offenders. Individuals and corporations that pollute our air and waters will not stop doing so as long as they can profit from this action and do not fear consequences. A steel producer, for instance, will not cease dumping waste in a nearby river if it does not affect its bottom line. Taxing this company, on the other hand, might make it change its, ways, its way of doing business. Yet, it is this very question of costs that limits anyone but the government to act against pollution. Okay, here's my paragraph. First of all, let me back up a little bit. My essay, what is my essay about? General topic, pollution. What is the question? Who is responsible to fix it? I say government is responsible to fix it. I suggested three reasons in my introduction. Power, cost, credibility. Okay? This is my first body paragraph. I listed three reasons. Power, cost, credibility. My first paragraph will also be my first reason mentioned. I mentioned power in my introduction. I will talk about power in my first paragraph. Okay? So, first of all, I have my indent, okay? I prefer indent, some people prefer uh, spacing, <clears throat> but to be honest, figure out what style guide your professor or your company or whoever is asking you to use. There is MLA, APA, Chicago Manual of Style. Each of them will tell you how to do this, to indent or to leave a line, etc. capitalization, style guides, are actually very good sources of learning English. Very boring books, but very useful books. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let me just mention also OWL, O-W-L, at Purdue is a very good website. Lots of information to help you with writing. Okay. So I have my indent. Now, great changes require a powerful hand to guide them and push them forward. Have I said anything here? No. All I did was talk about change, because that's what my general topic of the essay is, and power, because that's my first focus. I'm going to talk about the power, okay? Very, very general. Governments have the power and influence of the law. So now, here we go. I had, where did I go? Powerful, and I'm still talking about power. I'm connecting the two sentences. Next, I introduce a new idea, the law much more specific. Where does their power come from? It comes from the law. The influence of the law to support them. Moreover, now, I'm not going to a new idea. I'm adding 
to the, this idea that I just mentioned. They have access to means, means uh, ways of doing things, with, we, with which to enforce the law. So here, again, another idea. Enforce means put into effect, make sure that it actually happens. Enforce the law and punish offenders. So they have the power of the law. With this power, they can enforce and punish. Everything, I'm connecting everything to everything. Offenders. Now, here I'm talking about offenders. Individuals and corporations that pollute. These are the offenders. So one sentence flows into the next sentence, into the next sentence. Pollute our air and waters will not stop doing so as long as they can profit. Okay, so here's the, my next idea. They will not stop polluting, because we're still talking about pollution, okay? They will not, as long as they can profit, as long as they're making money. Why do people pollute? Because it pays to pollute. Action and do not fear consequences. So, they don't fear punishment and the law doesn't scare them, okay? And again, we're still talking about pollution. A steel producer, for instance, I'm introducing an example, okay? If you can introduce a real example, like a, a, the name of the steel company, even better. But I don't want to offend anyone. I'm keeping it a little bit more general. The steel producer will not cease. Now, before, uh, here's the word stop. I don't want to use the word stop again. Why? Because I have other words. I have the word cease. Cease means stop. Okay? Uh, vocabulary variety, very important. Will not cease dumping, means throwing in or throwing away, waste in a nearby river. Waste, pollution, I'm still on the same topic. If it does not affect its bottom line. Now, I'm not sure if everybody knows what bottom line is, but bottom line basically means profit. I'm still connecting the ideas using different words. <clears throat> taxing this company, so taxing is a form of punishment. For companies especially. Taxing this company on the other hand, so now I'm giving the other side of the situation, might make it change its way of doing business. Again, what is business? Business is all about making money, costs. Yet it is this very question of costs, and I'm connecting it or, sorry, to business, that limits anyone but the government to act against pollution. I bring it right back to government acting against pollution. This is my overall thesis. Governments must act to stop pollution, right? So remember, the paragraph, everything must connect to itself, but the paragraph must connect to the essay, to the whole idea. Now, what else did I do here? I introduced the topic of costs. What is my next paragraph going to be? Remember, I had three reasons for thinking government must act. Power, cost, credibility. My next paragraph is cost. I've already introduced this idea. I've, cre I've started the bridge. In the next paragraph, I will end the bridge, get into my new topic. Costs and power are two different ideas. One paragraph, power. One paragraph, cost. One paragraph, credibility. And then, of course, your conclusion, okay? So you have all these things. Everything connects. Sentence variety, Make sure that you're sticking to one topic. Make sure you're preparing the reader for the next topic. And make sure that everything connects to the overall idea of the essay. Okay? If you need some more uh, help with this and you want to have some more questions, go to ingvid.com. You can leave me a comment and I will get back to you. There will also be a little bit of a quiz there to make sure you understand all this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, don't forget to go to YouTube and uh, subscribe to my channel. And of course, Come back, see me again. Thank you.